Good morning. Oh, welcome to the... the... Salon's very busy today. What? Oh, don't say that. I was hoping to nip in for a pedicure on my lunch hour. Is it safe to use an angle grinder in such a confined space? Yeah. Nothing. Good morning, Solana. So how can I help you? <laughs> Paper? Tiger, today's paper. No, thanks. Fancy a swim? No. What about a drink? No, thank you. You've got to crack your face sometimes, son. You've been sulking all day. I'm not sulking. It's called embarrassment. Everyone's embarrassed when they're a teenager. you just got to work your way through it. You! I'm embarrassed about you! What are you embarrassed about me for? Let me think. What did my 52-year-old father do last night that could have possibly have been embarrassing? Um, perving over women half his age and when they said they weren't interested, getting into a fight with them. Which one was supposed to be half my age? You've got to be joking. They were a right pair of munters. So why were you chatting them up, then? Who keeps texting you? Auntie Terry. You tell her she's got to keep her nose out of my business. Don't believe a word she says. It's all a load of rubbish, you hear me? OK. Hola. Jacqueline. We need to talk. Oh, morning. Morning. I've been sick with worry all night. Worry? What are you worried about? You don't remember I propositioned you last night? No. Really? Not that I remember. You just uh, finished your drink, said you were having an early night, and went off to bed. My God. Those two lager shandies must have hit me hard last night. I am drunk pint since I was 18. I think I'm still a bit tiddly. That is a relief. I've been wringing my hands all morning. I've been up since seven as well. Half the day's gone now. Don't worry about it. I've got nothing planned. Well, I say that. I might have a dip in the pool later on. Oh, I don't think I could spend another day just sitting, staring at the pool. I tend to get panic attacks if I've got nothing to do, you know, alone, with my thoughts. Glyn, I said last night, why don't you just call your wife and say you think this wife swap thing was a mistake? No, no. She's having the time of her life. Every time I text her to see if she's OK, she says she can't get enough of it. Well, Donald is an amazing man. I know I instigated this whole thing, but I can't get over the fact that you're so happy with your husband spending time with another man's wife. My wife! Well, I look at it this way. Our next-door neighbour has a drill, but it doesn't have a hammer function. You know, to go into solid walls like ours does. So we're only too happy to let them borrow it from time to time. But you can't compare your husband to an electric hammer drill? Wow, well, you say that. 